Hello guys, and welcome back to an episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So in the last episode, if you remember, we rode around a seagull a little bit, got our sword, and we are now going to head up to save the lady up in the bushes, or wherever that is, the cardboard forest of Notre Dame. So we're just going to slowly make our way up here. Sign. That's in gibberish. No, that's Hillian, maybe. No entry. The forest paths are closed until closed until suspension path. I don't. I don't care. That is a terrible fence. It's not serving its purpose. You should fire that fence immediately. Give me all that grass. Why are there? Why is there no money in this grass? This is an outrage. There's no Pokemon, no money. What is the purpose of this grass? Okay, so we're up here now. Hey, it's a sign, ow. Jerk. How do I read the sign? There we go. Fairy fountain sight ahead. Increase your fortune. What's up here? Oh, that's an awesome lookout. Oh god, I can't aim this. What the hell are those seagulls up to? <laughs> That's They're so weird. Alright, let's get some money in the bank here. Why is there no... Alright, this grass is devoid of rupees. It's just sad. Ooh. Hey, sexy lady. Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Parkour. Awesome. And you are in my way, so you will die, tree. Are there rupees in this grass? Yes, there is. There are rupees in this grass. All the rich people come here, apparently. All right, we are entering the forest. There she is. That was easy. Hello, pirate lady. Hello. I'm coming to get you. Don't don't worry. Whoa. A new challenger is approaching. He looks unfriendly. Possibly dangerous. Let's approach and get a closer look. Maybe we can sneak up. Oh no! Yeah! Oh yeah. Using my, using my epic tactics on you. Stand no chance. And they explodes into purple smoke. Must be the twilight. Seems like there's a uh, like a lot of enemies explode in the purple smoke. I don't understand that. Can I cut this sign? I know I could do that in Ocarina of Time. Fairy fountain site. This site this spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after the battle so the fairies could ease and ease his wariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived there was blessed with great fortune. Yeah, you can cut signs. Well, there goes uh, years of history. Alright, so we're getting closer to saving Terra. Oh, uh, wait, I shouldn't have said her name, should I? Uh, just to just describe that. You don't need to. Uh, you heard no name. Whoa! What the? Oh god, paratroopers! Bah! No, it's it's okay. I got this. I got this, guys. I got this. Boom goes the dynamite. Oh wow, that was a nice interception. But we're coming in with the kick. Oh, and we're missing horribly. Nope. Oh, cut out of mid air. Good night and good wins. Oh, did you see that dodge? 
think I'm getting a little bit of frame rate drop here. Might need to tweak some things. Oh man, yeah, that's bad. There we go. We're back now. I apologize for any frame rate drop in this episode. I will definitely work on that in the future. So she woke up now. That woke her up. Falling out into a freaking tree didn't wake her up. But that did. She okay? I don't think she's okay. Ouch! Hello, ladies. Wow, what's with the getup? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss! Miss Tetra! Hut, 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 hut. Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on! Well, well, thanks for being thankful, you jerks. Hey! Hey, big brother! What's she doing up here? Oh no. Why is she up here? Seriously, what is she doing up here? Okay, there's a hole in the bridge. Oh no. No, 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 no! No, don't do it! No! No! Oh, you bastard! Brother! Yeah, jump for it! Jump for it! You can make it! What was the goal of that? I really... Ugh, stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you could do. And she's off. Operation Save My Sister is a go. And this is where we froze before. It's not worse. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Yeah. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates! The terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you, and where do you get off buttoning our someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spent much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that that bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Dot, dot, dot. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Ben here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Ben's sister made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So what? So, what are you going to do? 
Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Ben a little help now, wouldn't it? Hmm. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you better say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Okay, so... Gotta tighten up some loose ends. No, that's not at all. No, close. What is that? Tie, tie up some loose ends, that's right. Not tight. Is it really true? Yes, it's true. I, uh, I wasn't exactly the most responsible person because I could not make that 15 to 20 foot dive. I'm sorry. You seem sad, Grandma. What is it, Ben? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Ariel? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? Sure, let's go with that. I'm gonna steal the shield now. What? There's no shield. Where's the shield? You stole the shield. What the hell? Ben. Is this what you're looking for? I'm so shocked right now. Take it with you. Da! That is the saddest moment to ever pull out that music. I feel like they could have made an exception there. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while well L targeting. Wait, I thought this was the family shield. So I'm in the hero's family then? I guess it is true. Ariel really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet, young child? Alright, so we are free to go, and I believe we can get on the pirate ship now. Uh, I think most of the time so far has really been spent just talking to people. Let me check the time really quick. Alright, we got time. So I think we'll do a little bit of the pirate training, I believe is what we have up next. And we'll probably call it an episode after that. Because I want to, again, as I've said many times, I want to keep these a little bit short. Speak. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? I am ready. I don't need to tie up no loose ends. Boom. And we're off. Oh, it's a pirate's life for me. Bye! Ah, oh, go away, snot nose. Good luck finding Ariel! Take care of yourself! Ah, oh, sad cat Link is sad. What is he doing? She can't even see me. She's too short. Uh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? You have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Determined Link is determined, although he's still a sad cat.
Alright, so we are on board the ship, as you can tell by the epic pirate music. So what's going on? Hmm, that Nico didn't make out half bad. With you belong with you being the new swabby and all. New swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey. I'll tell you. It sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so long as you don't disobey him. So let's go inside here, and I believe that is where we're going to start doing our work. Can, can I have one of those swords, please? Those are pretty cool swords. This guy is a sexy beast. Oh yeah, look at that swagger. Dun, 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 dun. Stop right there. This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it. Oh yeah, swagger. Alright, let's keep going down. I believe Nico's a midget. Yeah, here he is. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, <coughs> ha, him. I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right. Now first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. Alright. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt forward to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Curb stop. Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but the next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use forward and backward to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, then press A to let go and jump to it. Wow, he said a lot of stuff while he was swinging like that. This guy must have some endurance to him. So you think you know- do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance to that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time limit, you, they drop and you have to start over. This doesn't seem too bad, I think I can handle this. And why do you need to scream every time you jump? Although I suppose I'm not one to talk. It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way through here. One rough year, one tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try, this ought to be good for a chuckle or two. You wanna go? I consider this a challenge. Alright, so uh... What now? Jump! Oh, you bastard. You cheated. Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump and make it over here. Falling is a part of the program, Swabby. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you. When you're hanging onto a rope, you can hold R, then tilt left and right to change direction, and tilt forward and down, up and down, and uh, climb up and down. Try it if you don't like the angle of the next jump. Alright. Let's give this another shot and not miss. That that would help, probably. Let's step on the switch. Oh, okay, that was the down switch, so... This is the up switch. Gotcha. So let's just aim right this time. Jump! Yep. Oh, overjumped. Man, that is tough. Terrible angle. Yes. Ah, goddamn. Dun dun. Yep. Dun. All right, let's give this another shot. Yep. Parkour is not necessarily my forte. Yep. All right, so we're there. And then we're gonna need to 
jump to that guy. Yep. Nope. Yes, there we go. And let's take that jump. Yep. There we go. Doing good now. We only got a couple jumps to go. Oh no. No! Damn it! We were so close! Alright, well our time is pretty much up now anyway. We would have made it if we landed that though. Platforms down. Let's see what we can do here now. I think I've got this pretty much down now. Let's get lined up. Jump! Swing forward. Don't push and then let go. There we go, right on the edge. Alright, doing good, I like it. I like it a lot. I do not like the angle of that at all, but let's see, can I move this? No, damn it, I didn't mean to go that far. Alright, let's go there. Oh crap, we're already there? I think we can yep. still make it. Yep. Yep. Yes! Excellent. Yep. What? You did it already? I... I... I'm proud to have you as my... As my... Underling. I... I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Gotcha. So... Can't break these barrels, Stan. What's in the chest? You got the spoils bag! You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight types of items. Press Y, Z, or X on the item screen to see what's inside. Press Y, Z, or X again to set and use one of its contents. Hi. Hey, Ben! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress! Hurry and get up here! Alright, so... Can we break these barrels? Yeah, we can. Alright, so uh, I think that's enough for this episode. Uh, we got a decent amount done, mostly just storyline stuff, but... I mean, these games are basically for their storyline. I love the storyline in these games. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna call this an episode here. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment, all that fancy stuff. And I will see you guys next time.